KPI what does it stands for it is nothing but key performance indicator what does that mean now so it means here we try to measure the performance of certain things by a given indicator so that's where we call it as a key performance indicator for example you are working in marketing or in sales so your performance of sales might be required to be measured against a given target so that's what called the key performance indicator right so let's see how can you create that so let me just remove this very very quickly and show you the things so for example in visualization when you see over here this particular item this is called the kpi which is nothing but key performance indicator let me drag it and put it over here so that we could see it all together now here is what i got in this visual i have the data for a supermarket sales so where i want to see the you know total sales by the given target how it is performing so when you create this kind of chart which is kpi you are going to get these three boxes value trend and target value in value you want to put that key which you want to measure so in my case i want to measure the total sales so that's what i gave it over here but you what you see is you don't see any value over here because it also require a trend by what trend you want to see so trend could be most preferred thing is date so by date you want to see the performance of the sales etc right so that's where we can use the date but if you want you can use product line etc for for example over here i want to go in date and here i have it in the hierarchical structure so i'm going to use the month from over here now what you see just right over here is this graph all right so this kind this is called the kpi but then there is one point you see all that in gray color okay before i just move forward i just want to remove this title for that i need to go on visuals and in visuals general and title i just remove that now what you see is all it's showing in gray color but i require to show it in different color why and why is it happening something like this because we have not given the target so for giving the target what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a target of one and a half times of the sales okay so this is a very i won't say i i won't say it's a recommended thing you should not be doing it but in, in your data you must have a target column but over here just for the learning purpose i'm going to create a measure for target that i have already created but i'll go ahead and create it again and i'll remove it from here i'm just removing it and so that i could show you how to create this measure how to create this kind of thing on fly all right so it is just removing now it is done all that you need to do is go on your sheet or the table name right from here just click on new measure and as soon as you do this you are going to get a bar over here you would require to just bear with me because the performance is too slow okay now over here i get target and into this i'm going to take sum of total sales and i'm going to multiply that by 1.5 now as soon as i do this over here i'll get a target created you see here the target is created now i'm going to put that into target column now what you see over here it shows in red color why because it says the goal was 17.79 but what we achieved is 11.86 which is minus 33.33 percent compared to the target all right so you, this is how we create a kpi now the other point which you should notice is this 11.86 is not the total of sales then what it is for that we require to see this label right so for that i'm going to go in over here and you see this date just click on this now you see this is showing it for the month of december only now you might be interested in seeing what was the sales for each of the month so for that i'll create another matrix quickly so that i could show you it by month and from here i'm going to take month into the rows 
and total into the values let me just put it in the values come down please over here now what is what you see over here now you just have a look on this you see for december it is 11.86 right and what you are see, seeing over here is also 11.86 what we understand is it is not for one month okay so so it is not for total sales right this is for a given month now the question comes how to show it for other month right so for that what i can do is i can create a slicer over here just next to it and into that what i'll do is i'll put the month over here so here i'll take month and here we go now we got month and there is one more thing which i need to do in slicer setting i need to enable the multi select slicer setting options i must be getting a selection okay so over here i'm just going to say highlight this select all part as well right now if i want to see it for all first of all let me click this so still it is showing for one month only right so i'm just going to remove this and let me just take this january now this is for one month so for one month it will only show the total value now the next month we require one more month so that we could compare it against it so just click on this this and this okay i need to enable the multi select as well no multi select is already enabled okay let me just quickly do this thing very very I, I know this is very very annoying thing you should not be doing it but this is just a temporary fix okay if you want to understand in detail how to fix that put that into the comment section i'll definitely make a separate video for that okay now what you see over here is just remove this choose another month and you see it for the other month now when you click this you are seeing it for july you can click this so it is showing for january february may and july right so this is how you can play around this now let's look at the formatting part a bit so for example here is the goal i don't want to see the goal over here right so what i can do is in target label i can go and i can just hide it so that is gone now if i want to make some formatting changes into this february so you can go inside this and you can make the changes whatever you want right so for example i want to see it in a different color so february is in a different color make it big that's all right so all these kind of things you can do change over here without any you know big struggle right so it's it's very simple over here moving forward one best part which i want you to note over here is that is this you see in red but but what if you are not working in sales but you are working in fraud control unit so in fraud control unit you might have a threshold if you cross that threshold then it should be red if you are below that threshold then it should be good right so higher is bad lower is good in case of fraud but in case of sales lower is bad higher is good compared to the target so how would you change this so for that what we're going to do is select this kpi and go into the visual and over here in call out values let me just show you that very very quickly well not in call out value but in trend no, trend axis yes so you see over here it says high is good but if when you do low is good then it is showing in green which means whatever the target was given the achievement is below that and which is a good thing right whatever has been a uh, actual the actual is lower than the target which is a good thing so this is a very very important part you should take a note of right uh, high is good and the low is good okay and if you want to change the color you can make the adjustment of that if it is bad it should be red neutral yellow and good is green if you want to show it in different color you can show it in different color so this is it in this video hope it was helpful for you just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to clarify that wish you good luck